my passion has been using energy as a tool to help people out of poverty. So if you were to go in my backyard here, where I am not a, a seasoned farmer, but I am a hobbyist gardener, you'll find two kiddie pools. Each system costs less than $10. So what I've been trying to do is put myself in the mindset of a poor farmer with limited resources. I am growing a special plant. It's an aquatic fern called Azola, with the purposes of creating a valuable biofertilizer and feed for rural farmers, in, in this case in Bangladesh, but it has applications elsewhere. Bangladesh makes a lot of sense for growing Azola. Bangladesh has several million acres of land in the south of Bangladesh that have been marginalized by brackish water intrusion and have uh, very low organic content in the soil, so it's hard to grow much in that type of environment. Azola is a compelling solution to some of these problems for a few reasons. The biomass that's produced is up to 35% protein, which presents a really compelling feed for poultry, for cattle, uh, for fish in some cases. As a biofertilizer, you can have increased yields while simultaneously having increased soil health. Jason's project will really be benefited by some basic research, and that's what we can provide here at the Scott Bioengineering Building at CSU. I think that Azola is just essentially low-hanging fruit for some farmers to uh, use marginal resources to grow something of real value.